People of God, I greet you warmly this morning in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. People of God, I greet you warmly this morning in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Mulwen, Dumelan, Sanbonan. We praise God for this moment of his grace where we come together to praise and worship him. Come, let us praise God joyfully, acclaiming the rock of our safety. Let us come to his presence with thanksgiving, acclaiming him with music. For God is a great God, greater king than all other gods. From depths of the earth to mountain top, everything comes under his rule. The sea belongs to him, he made it. So does the land. He shaped this too. Come in, let us bow, prostrate ourselves, and kneel in front of Yahweh, our maker. For this is our God, and we are the people he pastures, the flock 
that he guides. Let's join together as we worship God this morning and we sing to God together when I survey the wondrous cross on which the Prince of Glory died. My richest gain I can't but loss and pour contempt on all my pride. Let us rise and sing together. Please be seated. Now let us join together in a time of prayer. Let us pray. Gracious and loving God, we give you thanks for this day you have given us. It is indeed right, it is our joy and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks and praise. You created all things and made us in your own image. When we had fallen into sin, you gave your only son to be a savior. You hate nothing that you have made and forgive the sins of all those who are patient. Create and make in us 
new and contrite hearts. That lamenting our sins and acknowledging our wretchedness, we may receive from you, God of all mercy, perfect forgiveness and peace. You, O oh Lord, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and magnify, magnify your holy name. Bless this day. Bless this service. Help us to be in touch with you. And help us to be mindful and obedient to the promptings of your Holy Spirit. Use even this moment to glorify your holy name. This we ask in the precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Our first reading for today is from the book of Isaiah, chapter 52. I read from verse 13 and end in chapter 53, verse 12. Isaiah 52, I read from verse 13. The Lord says, my servant will succeed in his task. He will be highly honored. Many people were shocked when they saw him. He was so disfigured that he hardly looked human. But now many nations will marvel at him, and kings will be speechless with amazement. They will see and understand something they had never known. The people reply, who would have believed what we now report? Who would have seen the Lord's hand in this? It was the will of the Lord that his seven should grow like a plant taking root in dry ground. He had no dignity or beauty to make us take notice of him. There was nothing attractive about him, nothing that would draw us to him. We despised him and rejected him. He endured suffering and pain. No one would even look at him. We ignored him as if he were nothing, but he endured the suffering that should have been ours the pain that we should have borne. 
All the while, we thought that his suffering was punishment sent by God. But because of our sins, he was wounded, beaten because of the evil we did. We are healed by the punishment he suffered, made whole by the blows he received. All of us were like sheep that were lost, each of us going his own way. But the Lord made the punishment fall on him. The punishment all of us deserved. He was treated harshly but endured it humbly. He never said a word. Like a lamb about to be slaughtered. Like a sheep about to be shared. He never said a word. He was arrested and sentenced and led off to die. And no one cared about his fate. He was put to death for the sins of our people. He was placed in a grave with the wicked. He was buried with the rich. Even though he had never committed a crime or ever told a lie, the Lord said, it was, it was my will that he should suffer. His death was a sacrifice to bring forgiveness. And so he will see his descendants. He will live a long life, and through him my purpose will succeed. After a life of suffering, he will again have joy. He will know that he did not suffer in vain. My devoted servant, with whom I am pleased, will bear the punishment of many. For his sake, I will forgive them. And so I will give them a place of honor, a place amongst the great and powerful. He willingly gave his life and shared the faith of evil men. He took the place of many sinners and prayed that they might be forgiven. This is the word of God. Yes. 